poor Betsy is in a sad state of affairs. Um, let's take a look, kind of uh, give y'all a little bit of a damage report. The um, last Saturday, I pulled the heads and the intake off this thing, just kind of get an idea of how bad the damage was. I hope the light's good enough. Yeah. <clears throat> y'all see this? That's a uh, that's an intake valve, and that's an intake valve. Uh, walk around um it's harder to see on this side it's not as pronounced let's see that that mark that's the intake valve and that is too so um we'll look at the heads here in a second but the, the good news is that Betsy is an organ donor. I'll explain more about that in a second. Uh, so I said that Betsy's an organ donor, and what that means is that uh, she's got some good parts, and she is, you know, behind the barn and uh, kind of on the back burner for now. So instead of putting GT40s on the 88, I'm going to put trick flow heads on the 88. And, um, yeah, let's take a look at those heads real quick. This is the worst head and the most obvious. Y'all see the daylight behind that one? That intake valve's bent. This one's even worse. Let's see, let's get down here. Yeah, y'all see that? Yeah, that's bad news. But uh, I'll get a, <clears throat> I'll get some intake valves for these heads and get half a valve job. <laughs> these actually, these heads before I bought them were actually going through, so they're they're. They probably got maybe 10,000 miles on them. Uh, you come down here, you can see the difference in the height of the valve spring. Yeah, that was a, that was a dead giveaway once I pulled the rocker arm off. Um, but anyway, so um, the 88 GT is gonna benefit from the trick flow heads and um, the 95 will get a ported version of these iron GT forties. <clears throat> and uh, I think I want to, I think I'm gonna pull the B cam out of the 95. Um, I'd like to get a, a something with more lift, uh, let these heads breathe a little better and try, try to, you know, I was running, I was running trick flow heads with a B cam. I'll be running uh, GT forties, but I want, I want more lift to kind of compensate for uh, the flow deficiency so that's the plan speaking of betsy being an organ donor we're also getting a transfusion um before this car died it had it got a full tank of gas so it's probably got 13 or 14 gallons left in it so let me show y'all a little trick on how to pump gas out of one of these so you don't have to cycle the key a million times so the key is on if you'll spin the rotor it'll it'll cycle the pump on. So you just kind of plug the distributor, the distributor's plugged in. If you'll keep the rotor going, um, it'll keep pumping gas. So we'll see how quick this 255 pump can fill up a, a five gallon bucket or jug. Got me a helper. She's doing a good job. So guys, I'm doing a lot of uh, robbing Peter to pay Paul. Um, right now the transmission's out of this car and <clears throat> in order to get a transmission out, you gotta drop the H-pipe. And this car um, has been jumped. Somebody went Dukes of Hazard in this car before I bought it. Let me show y'all what I'm talking Look about. At this pipe, it's like flat. Y'all see that? Kinda hard to see, but right here, like, the hole where it's scraped, all the, all that rust, that is like totally flat. I mean, you put a straight edge on that thing, it is flat. But somebody jumped and it landed hard on that one side. It got the other side a little bit, but it really tore up this other side. A devil to get off. I like to not get the H-pipe off this car. It's like bent in a weird way and um, I, just, I fought and fought and fought with it. It came off. I'm not putting it back on. So, um, also, the headers were leaking. 
Uh, the passenger side was leaking real bad. That's my fault. I cut a corner and I shouldn't have. Um, let me show y'all something else I got. So I picked up these. Um, they're a set of Mac long tubes uh, for an AOD. So I've been looking for a set of these for a while. Uh, they're not they're not very easy to come by, but uh, and they look kind of rough. Uh, but they'll work. I'm tickled to death to have them. Uh, so to let you know the current state of the 88, the transmission's out, the H-pipe is out, uh, both headers are off. So <clears throat> I'm uh, I'm just getting deeper and deeper. You know, last week I drove this thing to work. It's tagged and insured. I drove it to work. It almost killed me. Um, just how bad the headers were leaking. And uh, there's a couple cracks in the floor, so the exhaust is coming through there. And also the grommet where the speedometer cable goes through the firewall. I was breathing plenty of exhaust from there. But anyways, so I've got the exhaust completely off. I've got the transmission out. So what's to keep me from going ahead and pulling the motor on this car? Uh, not much. So I think that's what's going to happen. I think I'm going to pull this motor and uh, put some bearings in it. And go ahead and put some GT40 heads on it and a system max intake and <clears throat> see if I can see if that will uh, get me by until I get my other motor built for the trick flow heads and the performer RPM intake so that's kind of my plan there's a lot of like I said a lot of robbing Peter to pay Paul but um, anyways I've got uh, two cars that are tore up the track is open and it's giving me anxiety so I gotta, I gotta do something, I gotta do something quick. The plan for this motor has changed. I was gonna build a 306, but after I broke my crank, um, I talked to two different people separately and both uh, let me know that a 50 ounce motor is really hard on balancers. So I was leaning towards going to, um, going from a 50 ounce crank to like a, um, to a 28. So I was gonna do like a cast steel 28 ounce uh, 306. And I started pricing all of that and um, it was getting expensive. And I also, up here, <clears throat> um, I didn't realize, and I'm just kinda using that as a visual example. To get the rods reconditioned, it's like $15 each. And then to get new bolts, it's like 70 plus shipping. So I'm like, I might as well buy new rods. And since I'll be up around 500 horsepower with nitrous, um, I want to get new stuff. So um, I'm going to build a 331 out of that block right there. And the GT40 heads are going to go on this motor and eventually this motor will go in the 95 so we're just kind of you know shuffling the deck playing a uh, musical engine bass uh, another change i'm going to make i'm going to go ahead and convert the 88 to mass air and i already have this cam right here this is a f303 so that will go in the 331 uh with the triplo heads and the rpm2 intake with the nitrous plate hanging up right there so that's that's the plan um it's gonna take me a minute to get all that pieced together and uh anyways so that's the plan well guys this video is a little bit of a jumbled mess but so is what's going on in my head um but anyways the motor is gonna come out of this car um just quick just one other update i got the transmission back from the transmission shop it's got a new bushing in the front pump since I'm putting a new converter in it. It's got a new seal, uh, front and rear, and uh, where the shifter comes out of the side of the case. And uh, so a buddy of mine took care of that. Um, quality transmission. So thanks, Tally. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, I guess that's going to wrap it up for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch y'all later.
I'm holding, I'm smiling, she's living, she's golden, she lives for me. Says she lives for me, you listen. Who are motivation? She goes proud and she goes proud of me. And I'll make you smile like a drug for you. Do whatever what you wanna do, coming over you. Keep on smiling, what we got.